Hi everyone. I hope you are having a great nest right now. This is actually my first nest and I'm super excited to be presenting at a conference for the first time. So a little about me. I'm Anushka. An outreach intern with Fedora, working on improving the Fedora Docs experience. I like to describe myself as living an engineer's life in a designer's shoe, because I am a self-taught product designer. There is a big question uh, which sometimes I want to answer or seek an answer for that why I decided to contribute to open source, being a being a designer. So, open source software has inspired great engineers to build novel abstractions. It is a, also a platform to connect with people all over the world. Apart from tech skills, we also get to learn about different cultures and communities. Understanding how huge organizations such as Fedora maintain consistency in their design from contributors all across the globe is something that has interested me a lot. And I also want to learn and advocate for open source design. So, through Outreachy, I found a platform to get into open source. For the longest time, I watched my peers at college get into GSOC and put their summers away. I never heard of designers pursuing a career in open source and felt that it didn't belong here. So, I believe this internship is also unique because I'm working on a user experience based project among the countless programming based ones. Uh, my project is actually involved with improving the Fedora Docs experience. But today, I don't want to talk exactly about what I'm working on. That you might be able to learn about in a while. But <laughs> I want to talk about this. How as a designer, it is intimidating to begin contributing in open source. So I'll start with a small story. Uh, basically, I remember asking my project mentor if he could create an issue on the tracker since we need that, needed that in our final application for Outreachy. He did that, but here's the catch. He also told us to create a pull request of our proposed solution. Now you can see my solution has a uh, while con in the contribution phase, I made my solution in a Figma file and it had a lot of screenshots and my, a lot of viewpoints from my site on how we can improve the Fedora docs. But basically, uh, since we weren't altering any code lines, there wasn't anything to push. So making a pull request was fatal. I also remember fellow contributors initially changing lines in the readme to contribute to create a PR with their ideas. Think about that. Also, another issue with the method was that Fedora Pager doesn't support linking images in the pull request, and it's really difficult to explain the design process and the decisions without relevant images to make a case. As you can see in this screenshot, I have a lot of images in my uh, contribution. So basically, there was no plain sailing way to document and share the design suggestions. And ideas for the project, and a lot of contributors were going through the same phase. I also made a FigJam presentation with all my ideas, design decisions, and it was laid out in a week wise format. But converting everything from the presentation to text was quite cumbersome for me. When I brought this up with my mentor, he agreed that we could attach a link to the design files. Uh, where we made all the mocks instead of opening a pull request and we could uh, direct the, con like the project contributors and the maintainers to those things. But to think about that, you, you can also understand that there, this is merely a fix, not a solution to the existing problem. So what I want to say is there still isn't a standard way for designers to showcase their work in progress. Developers can actually rely on systems for version control and documentation, like on websites like GitHub, GitLab, or Fedora Pager. As a designer, I have to manually log input into the in 
uh, I have to manually input the entire change log. Also, design is something that cannot be measured in zeros and ones. It's not like for for design, a pull request is merged or not merged. It doesn't work that way. So, uh, and also while working on any issue, we either have to put links in the discussion forum and IRC chats, and there is no record, as in the case of developers having the entire work embedded in just a pull request. I have created some issue uh, like. Discussion threads in Fedora discussion, on which I have received immense response from the community. But still, I feel somehow that for for designers, it is a secondary thing that uh, they were getting the required documentation and recognition. Also, I found that my tool of choice is different from the one that Fedora design team uses in their workflow. This is not a case of one, but many, as each person contributing to open source is different. So, might be their tools, and for better or worse, we care about the tools we use. Since I have been designing in Figma since the contribution period, there are a lot of iterations on my Figma file, replicating which will be a cumbersome and unproductive task for me. Also, I couldn't copy the entire Figma file to Pinpot, the tool that Fedora is using today. So basically, collaboration becomes a little tricky with incompatible design files. Sometimes I feel OSS has such a developer-forward environment that many impactful contributions are left tangled among the tech constraints. It also needs to be addressed that the needs of designers and developers are different, and a one-fit-all solution couldn't work in this environment. We need tools and systems accessible to more than just people who code. Even today, brainstorming and collaboration and designers is not as efficient as in the case of developers. I also feel that designers have a little different definition for open source than developers. Designers also want to make meaningful contributions for the benefit of all, but I can see that many proprietary companies like Google and Thread have released open source design kits and are advocates of open design. But how do we bring such contributors and resources under one umbrella and use them meaningfully? Is something that I want you all to ponder about. Anyway, you might be thinking, why should I care about design or usability? One of the main reasons most computer software is so abysmal is that it's not de design at all, but merely engineering. An example of this being the Fedora Docs website itself. It has grown organically over the years. Another reason is that implementers often place more emphasis on a program's internal construction than on its external design, despite the fact that as much as seventy-five percent of the code in a modern program deals with the interface to the user. This was told by Mitchell Capper in his software design manifesto. In uh, it was published in nineteen ninety-one. I also found that there are 13 installation and configuration guides in the Fedora Docs website. The need for extensive help in installation, configuration, routine maintenance of system functions continues to make the work of data processing highly meaningful. But no one is speaking of the poor user. I want to ask you all: What do you think stands as the future of design and open source? Because designers today are really not close to open source culture. It is most probably because of the education that they are being trained for is corporate world source. People pursue credits, and getting credits for non-code contributions is hard. Open source needs advocates for usability and user-centric design. I have seen this quote a few many times while preparing this talk that we need. A GitHub of the future for designers. So, what could be your solution? How can open source report contributions in design? It is very hard for UX designers to get attribution for their work because UX design is a mutually collaborative process where everybody feels related. GitHub has revolutionized software development for millions of people. I feel with the advent of no-code tools in the coming decade, open source would look less like code and more like software design. Think about that.
everybody can be a designer if the community is exposed to the right combination of tools, people, and distribution. What can we learn from the open source movement of the yester decade, and how can design transitions transition from hands of a few to many? This is something I want you all to think about, and if you have any questions or suggestions, you can reach out to me at my Fedora ID, like Anushka. Thank you so much.